In front of me is the worst base that I have ever made. I want to replace it with something better. There we go, it's, it's been deleted. Anyway, the idea for this challenge is that I'm only allowed to build in one colour. I've done this challenge in the past before and I did it with blue, purple and orange, if I can remember correctly. And it was a really long time ago when I was just starting building and I don't know if those videos are still on my channel anymore or if I ever made videos on them or if I was just doing it for practice. Honestly, my memory is so bad nowadays I could combat a goldfish in memorization. The goldfish would not only win, but every other animal there would win. I'd be like bottom of the food chain. We're building a house completely out of red stuff. That didn't sound right. I want to just label down all of the red blocks really quickly so I can run through and start making a texture. So these are all the blocks I have to work with. Who would have guessed so many red blocks have to do with fungal? Like, these all look like mo I think I know the type of base I'm going to try and make, but the only one here that doesn't look alive in some sense is the TNT, but that can be alive in a different way. I do not trust that thing. Hopefully it won't look as awful as I think it's going to look. Starting off with the basic outline, I decided to make it out of mangrove because you've got a massive variety when it comes to mangrove and although it's a bit of a pale red, I think it works best for the base's layout because if I do something so bright, it's going to be hard to add any details on because all the details are going to look like little patches and the overwhelming colour of the main base will distract you from any extra things. So this is a really good starting point and you can see as I'm forming it it's got a weird like tall house shape and and you can see in the windows I've done organic stuff too and I think hopefully that's going to turn out looking really good. With the exterior of the base I'm thinking I'm going to do something mouldy as if like it's clay and it's all like forming together and going to, towards the point it's sort of pulsating. You know you know Stranger Things where you have all those tendrils and they're like all like weird creatures and everything? I thought almost well, if I made a house that's like made out of that stuff. So it's a bit of a weird house, a bit of a the scariest build I've ever made but it's all coming together now and you're starting to see how all the tendrils wrap around it and all bring towards the top. And we also have this anti-gravity effect that I put on it where all of it is like it's leaking upwards and you've got got all the like dripping floating above the base and it's such a weird effect and I did it completely by accident because I was trying to make the you know the top of the base go to a point because it's on like a, a two surface I was wondering how can I make that look good so I thought maybe I try some texturing tips maybe I bring it over but I accidentally made this dripping effect and I decided to do it all over the base and it's just so unique and so original and I'm just so happy with how it's turning out you can also see the little texturing tips and tricks that I have done throughout it there's little glimmers and little like strokes towards the end of the little water things that are floating upwards I don't really know what to call them but I've done that with the textures and it made them look feel have a lot more weight it makes them feel like they're actually liquid and they're actually there rather than just part of the base or more like a look like a goo yeah well I've created it and I'm gonna do the interiors in just a moment but I just wanted to mention I did take the idea for this video not exactly from another youtuber i kind of like twisted one of their ideas they made a dirt house look good and i thought huh maybe i can make a completely red house look good and well i made a completely red house look terrifying instead this thing is let's say it's made of ketchup for this moment it's a ketchup house that's twisted upside down and it's dripping and i i, <laughs> I ended up thinking like how do you make dripping textures i've done it with how do you make it 3D? I've done it with, you know, all sorts of things in the past, especially with something like that. And I just, you know, did it on lots of layers all the way up. And using, like, the little other red blocks to glimmer it and using the netherrack. Is that netherrack? Yeah, netherrack to make the darker parts was genius on my part. But it turned out so horrifyingly good that I'm just so happy with it. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and make the interior now. Which is, hopefully, I'm going to try and make that a little more... Well, honestly, I don't think it's going to be that nice. I'll give it a shot. I'm just going to lay out where I want the rooms to go. So we've got this first room here. We've also got a second room here. And I'm trying to think of what I do here. And what if we had, like, a staircase going up here. And then we had it... Yeah, we have it move on to here. And then there would be the floor... And we could have another room here. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so this is looking like... Uh, ooh. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do that. Maybe we can have like a, a hole in the floor here, which would look really neat. Yeah, so we have our... 
we have a hole in the floor here where you can look up through because there's like a little breakage in the wall here and it's all like creepy and monstrous and like the house should feel alive sort of thing and with the lumps on the wall i guess we just have to bring this forward a little bit which won't look too bad hopefully if we wanted a roof for this area we can just make another room here and make that room swerve around here a little bit like that and then you'd have that type of roof up here where with a little hole in the ceiling and that should give you enough room yeah you're not bumping your head or anything we do have quite a few floors on here and i'm probably not going to go through and show you how i'm making all of them but i'll skip to when i've once i've done the layout for all this and i've made all the little areas okay so i'm looking at the inside of the base now and i've finished all the floors and i just want to look around now and see what type of details i can do on the interior here i did make a clear and easy way to get up the entire base without having to follow the whole ladder structure i thought it'd be fun if you could get all the way to the bedroom all the way up here without actually you know ever having to take any of the long room so I did that little vine thing. I've started decorating this room here because I wanted to get an idea of what I was working with. And I was just thinking, that just came to my mind just now. Is this red or is it not? Yeah, that's basic. Yeah, that is ident... I never even realised how red that was. Yeah, so that's a red. Um, That's basically identical to the mangrove. So I can use those. And when it comes down to flowers, this crimson mushroom would look really nice here. I have a design in my head that I do want to try out. So is that so this isn't actually maybe i can try it on this wall so it's like something like that and then you do something like that and then with that in between maybe is that looking good so yeah that look that doesn't look half bad actually maybe with these instead i think the red wool and regular looks best honestly that checkered pattern there that looks quite funky but it also looks quite nice and with this bottom area here just wondering is there any other blocks that I can use here like I don't know darker red I think I think this looks better because it adds that little bit of contrast that you need it still makes it feel like it's part of it and I can add some maybe some signs on here to make these stripes less prominent like they're just little stripes of that on the wall rather than massive features which looks quite nice actually it's the problem with these corners maybe if i get some fences i can make the same effect not the same effect obviously it's very different uh can't do it with that one there's a door there why is there always doors blocking my way maybe something like that oh stairs i can get a i can get if i get a mangrove stair there i can make that door Look, I, we, of, we often do that as well. Just we often put um, stairs and things like that. Can you place it on there? No, I cannot. So it has to be on the back here. Like that. Or I could do something completely different and just make the door not stupid. Does that look any good? Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't look half bad. Okay, brilliant. So we've got the door here. And maybe these doors would look better if they were closer up too, which I don't usually say. Usually with doors, you keep them, you know, you keep them far back. But I think it works better here. This is weird. It feels very hotelish, especially with these doors. I never realised what type of design they had before until I've paid more attention to this. It, does it? Would it look good if I did that? Let me just. I'm just really testing everything out right now. Maybe a uh, more checkered design with these would work see which ones work here does that look nice yeah that looks that looks good that's a little bit of detail added on now and is there anything else i can do this room yeah probably with the floor maybe if i do some stuff like that in it that, that adds a little detail so yeah let's go to the next floor what, what's up here this is a very vibrant red um great oh actually this checkered pattern doesn't look half well, I say half bad. It, it it does look half bad, but it does it does also look half good. So <laughs> ah, that must be one of the checkers that I don't like then. Um, so yeah, that's a weird design, but it doesn't look terrible. I can see if there's anything else I can add to it to make it look nicer. Um, is that look any good? That is yeah, a bright red, colourful room, which is just bizarre for some reason. Maybe it's it feels like it should be like a uh, what's it called like a gambling room of some sort like hey come in here sell money buy money i, I don't know 
Oh, I don't know how gambling works. Somebody has to educate me on this sort of thing. Anyway, <laughs> there's my gambling room. I forgot I can use banners. Banners are fun. Where's a banner? Banner. Bruce Banner. There we go. My buddy's Bruce Banner. Maybe if I add some around the sides. I can do something with that later. Um, What am I missing? Ah, a door. Door, 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 door. Got that little area there. That looks a lot better. And it definitely fits with the whole atmosphere a lot better too. So I'll just place those in there. And I'll place that in there. And that should make it look a lot more otherworldly. Like, oh, come in here. Blah, blah, blah. I, 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 I don't know. I watch basically only kids movies. I'm not going to finish all these rooms on camera. Because that would take me forever. Especially while I'm speaking the whole time. But I'm going to move up to the bedroom now. And I did forget that I could use red beds. And I didn't. I don't think I placed them down below. So what type of, so I would think I'm just going to finish off by trying to make this bed frame. But I don't make a whole lot of bed frame. It isn't my specialty in Minecraft, but I can give it a shot. So maybe you do that. And you get like that, and that, and then that, that. Maybe you get a candle, which could look good. I'm like speed built. Oh, that's the wrong type of candle. That isn't the red one. I uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm really speed building at the moment because I don't. I don't build a lot like this in Minecraft, so oh, does that look any good? Having them out too, that'd look terrible. And then I can get some trap doors, and we can. <laughs> there we go. Now you won't be able to get out of bed. It's the opposite of an alarm clock. Uh, but yeah, that looks that looks neat. Oh, I'll add those in. Yeah. So you've got this big like hollow bed frame now which i think looks does that look any good i don't know i'll i'll sort something out with this i'll i'll make it look decent in the end um maybe not maybe it doesn't look decent at the moment but i'll figure something out i'm trying not to break this again because I, I i feel like every single time i look away it's broken again maybe i just didn't fix it last time that's the most probable answer but anyway i've got all this to do i've got lots of colors left to do and i'll give you a quick tour at the end i won't waste your time too much also i was thinking guys about making a world download for my you know for my for my my world my testing world if you ever wanted to check it out because all my builds are always supposed to be you know you guys can take them but i realized that like you can't really take them at the moment because, you know, copying my stuff, it's going to take ages. It's easy for me to do because I understand, like, the sort of things behind it. But if you want to get a schematica and, like, open up my world, then, you know, if I get enough people asking for it, I'll definitely make a world download. Originally, I was thinking of doing it when I got a patron, like, doing, like, like a patron exclusive thing. But I was thinking, like, that's not really my gist. But I don't know. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber and like I've always liked helping people with stuff like this. So if you want to do something like that, just drop me a comment, give the video a like. Let's see if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll do it. That's a massive goal. Apps that's like that's like Mr. Beast asking for a billion views on a video, but like why not, eh? So that was actually easier than I thought, but I'm done with building the base. Sorry you heard a squeak just now. I had to move my microphone closer to my mouth. Um, anyway, I've got all this done and it's really cool and I decided in the end what feature could I add across the base that was like all these empty walls because there's not a lot I can do. I thought, okay, so I've got banners. Why not make the banners almost creepy? So I did all these like symbols on them and then posted those around with candles and all this epic stuff. I finished a couple of the rooms, especially this one just I, I think... It's very compact, it's very full, it's the storage area, I use red shulker boxes and things. I think it looked very nice in the end, so I'm really happy with this room here, I'm just so happy with. I know I've spoken about it before, but I'm just, you know, I love the design of that, the hotel feel. With this one I had to make, I made some gambling machines, I thought, ah, it's funny, why not? I haven't uh, done too much with it, I could have probably detailed this wall at least, but you know how things go, I'm not that smart. Um, anyway, I've got this wall back here all textured now, I guess. It's not that hard to texture things. You just have to place a bunch of blocks around. Although people who say, like, 
there is there are some people who just make random textures that aren't actually any good you know they don't have any gradients or whatever then they say i'm a texture or whatever and that, those type of people frustrate me if you're one of those people leave my channel now no just kidding <laughs> i'm not i don't actually get it. i don't have that big of a grievance um but yeah th this this area this is my best the best area in the whole base as you can tell by its utter blandness and I walk into the bedroom now, and I've it's basically the same. I've added some candles and things. I added the quick exit here, and I made sure that was in red too. No, no, no other colours except red in this space. Except for a little bit purple in these, but you can ignore that. And we've got this top room here, which is like I didn't really know what to do for this attic. I thought maybe there's a viewing port. If you want to like watch the huge ship in the background, that's the ship of these. Yes, I never made it on a full video. It was on like one of my shorts, so you can check that out if you want. But um, the one up here, I did it like as a massive shrine. I decided originally I was just going to have it so like this would just be a hole in the ceiling and you'd look up. I thought, you know what, why not do another floor? I, I, I have the time, honestly. So I did that and then the, this is where I created those banners and that's why they're all across the wall now. And I think this like big shrine up here outside the base looks really cool. So... At the beginning of this video, I asked myself the question, can you make a base out of one, out of just red? Because red's the, like the hardest colour to build out in Minecraft. And yeah, it turns out you can. And it turns out that you can make a pretty cool one too. Because that is an incredibly unique base. Um, so yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check out the channel that I mentioned earlier. I, I don't think I actually mentioned her name, but you know, if you want to, see there's probably like a link in the description or something you can check that out and yeah i'll uh see you next time i upload a video bye bye